we're a 100% Mercedes family. I've actually got the sticker on mine that says powered by vegetable oil on it. But uh, I took the grease car part off because I was tired of people asking me about it in the grocery store and whatnot. And we just converted Casey's car yesterday, or not yesterday, but just this past week. So she's running on grease too. So we are a two grease car family. So this is Casey's engine compartment. I'm gonna use hers because it's new. It just got done, so it's cleaner than mine at the moment. Uh, this is basically this is the, the grease car kit part right here. This is what the grease car kit is. It's this filter here, and that valve there, and that valve there, and the hoses that connect them. That and then this this filter here, that red hose you see, is water, hot water coming from the uh, from the engine. It then runs around that copper coil there that heats up that filter. That's the grease filter. And then that hot water also runs out of the filter and goes back to the tank via that hose. So here's Casey's trunk. And her grease tank is here. That's where she puts her grease in. And inside of there, there's a heat exchanger that takes water from the engine and runs it through the heat exchanger which heats the grease that's in the tank and the the fuel line the grease fuel line actually is inside the hose inside the water hose that runs back to the engine and uh, goes through the valves or depending on whether or not you're running on diesel or grease um, will run through the valve and go into the uh, injection pump and then into the pistons where they work just like diesel fuel and all that is controlled from right here this is her grease tank gauge and her switch that she turned the grease on and off with. So that's that. So you drive along, once you see that temperature gauge there hit the 80 mark, then you know you're up to the proper temperature. It takes about five minutes at normal driving uh, conditions. And so once you get up to about 80 Celsius, then you flip that switch and you drive on grease. And that opens you know, the valve in the, under the hood that, that opens up the grease line and then the grease flows into the tank and off you go. And then whenever you get to where you're going, you switch back to diesel for a second and you purge, which opens up the other valve which takes the, the, the diesel fuel from the injector returns and pushes that diesel back through the grease line so that the next time you start up, you don't have cold vegetable oil in the lines. And that's that. And the engine works just fine.